Hi everyone, I'm Paul Daimling, Jurgensen Product Manager, here to talk to you today about how to properly reduce the range on the Jurgensen JMT Magneto Restrictive Transmitter using the re-range function. This is where you'll take a unit designed for one measuring range, like the 48 inch unit I have here, and set it up to control for a smaller range. Let's first review this initial setup. As you can see, this is a bottom mount unit. By default, it has a three inch blocking distance here at the T, as well as up at the tip. Depending on the installation, your unit may have a longer blocking distance. To get to the device info screen, we'll enter the menu by pressing the enter push button. You see the device info is the first option. We hit enter again. First screen is some information, but we really want the second screen. Shows the overall sensor length is 54 inches. That's measured from the weld here at the T all the way up to the tip. Again, minus those two three inch blocking distances, that gives us a 48 inch max measuring range. You'll notice this unit is set up to indicate fully from zero to 48. So currently I have the float at zero inches. And you'll see that indicating on the screen, zero inches, 0%, zero four milliamp. You notice the multimeter output over here matches. I'll move it up into the middle at about 24 inches. You're at about 50% or 12 milliamp. When I go up to full range, which is about 48 inches. You'll notice the inches shows 48, right around 100% and 20 milliamp output. Okay, now let's say you wanna reduce this from a 48 inch output to a 24 inch output, starting 12 inches above the T, where the magnificator's indicator would show 12 inches, and we'll set it up to have a 24 inch span, thus thereby showing full at 36 inches. How would we go about that? Again, menu to enter our screen. We scroll down and we look for this rearrange function. The first question it says is, where do you want your four milliamp? So I'm gonna press the up button. I can either press up 12 times, or I can modify the tens, which I'll show you on the next screen. So I set this at 12, enter to clear the menu, and now I go to the 20 milliamp option. So here I'll go back to the tens, hit down, Enter to get back into the ones, down two more times. I'm gonna set 20 milliamp, 100% or full, to be at 36 inches, giving this a 24 inch span. Again, enter out of that menu, and that's it, you're done. Let's go to the device info screen and confirm our settings. Second page, still have a 54 inch sensor, but now I'll display four milliamps at 12 inches on the probe, and I'll display 20 milliamps and 36 inches on the probe. Okay, so what does that look like? Exit out of our menu. Now you'll notice the float is at 12 inches, showing here in the engineering units, but I'm at essentially 0% and four milliamp. And again, my multimeter is giving me a similar output. When I move the float up to 36 inches, give or take, engineering units shows 36 inches, basically 100%, 20 milliamp. Now, if I go outside of that range, above 36 or below 12, what's it gonna do? Well, when I go above, I go up towards the end of my probe, I'm at 47 and three quarter inches. I top out at 20.5 milliamp, full saturation, which equates to 103.12%. When I go all the way down to the bottom, I'm actually slightly below zero, I'm at minus 0.29. But again, I bottom out at 3.8 milliamps, which is minus 1.25%. I never go into no more alarm, even though I'm outside that control range, which again is 12 to 36. Thanks for watching, hope this helped. Stay tuned for more videos coming on the JMT and other Jurgensen products. For more information or to contact us with questions, go to jurgensen.com. Visit our YouTube channel and click subscribe to stay up to date on all maintenance and educational videos for all Clark Reliance brands.